What's going on, comic book fans? It's Jimmy C. Um, I went to a mini, not a Comic Con, but in North Jersey, they have like little mini conventions, like five or ten tables. I've told you guys before, so uh, let's kick it off. Uh, I got these eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got these eight books for uh, eight dollars. Um, got Shadow of the Bat, you know, first Zaz, you know, with the Gotham show coming up. You never know. It's pretty high and mighty. We got uh, Heroes of Hope, X Men number one. Uh, great Arthur Adams cover. You know, Dolly can't go wrong. Beautiful cover, Batgirl number one from back in 1998. I don't know if it's worth anything. I doubt it, but you know what? Mint condition, beautiful cover with background yellow. I'm in. Uh, playing off the Lobo. You know, I have the fuck. I have the first appearance of Lobo, and I can't find it. I think it's at my mother's house, but like. She's telling me stories, oh, there's no comic books here, yada, 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 and with Hurricane Sandy, there was a flood. I think she's scared to tell me, like, a box was ruined, but I know I have this book, and I don't know where it is, and it ain't in my house, so it has to be in hers unless it was destroyed, but que sera, sera. So anyway, got Omega Man number one. Uh, what do we got? We got Fantastic Four Roast number one. Look at that, man. It, these roasts are really awesome on Comedy Central, if you see them, uh... And, you know, I got nothing to say, but they're just so funny, like, to watch them, like, nowadays. Um, oh, like, look at this. I scored, you know, a nice uh, 1970 comic, uh, Shazam, number three. And to round it out, we got uh, Shadow of the She-Devil, number two. The guy was a cool guy. Like, he wanted, like, three or four bucks for the last two, but he saw I bought a bunch of dollar books. He just gave me these for a dollar all. So, anyway, moving on. I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. So this guy, I only got three books. I paid 20 bucks for the three books. Um, got Flash. I, I believe it is the first appearance of the Rogues. I've seen it in other people's videos. And like when I saw it, thanks to other people's, I'm like, is this, the, is this the real one? And I looked it up and I'm pretty sure this is the first appearance of the Rogues. So it's not in the best shape, but it's not bad. He wanted like 25, 30 bucks. But he gave it to me for 15. And then... Uh, I got this, uh, you know, first Tim Drake is, um, which you McCall call, escapes my mind, but you know, that's what's his face. And then I got all the, the first Noctur Nocturna. So, like, thanks to you guys with the video. So, all in all, I paid uh, 20 bucks for these three books. So, you know, that's a good day any, any day. This book's a little messed up. It's wavy, it's wet, you know. Hey, I tell it like it is. When I get a good deal, I get a good deal. But if I get stupped, I get stupped. But I didn't get stupped too bad. It's just this book's messed up. Keeping it moving. Uh, got this for uh, 50 cents. Sort of, sort of uh, Azriel. And then I just threw this in, just rounded it out for a dollar. First Sonya, number one. I know my man Tom Ryan loves his Sonya. Uh, you know, I love it too. Like, you know, I just wanted to give him a dollar to get over with. But, uh, alright. So, this is the last dealer I went to. And he always has good deals. He has tons of boxes. And he has a couple of good books. Like, a lot of stuff's beat up, but, like, if you dig, he has about ten long boxes every time you go, and he mixes his stuff up. And I dug through every one of them, because I know you're always going to get gold. So, let me ask you guys. I went with there with my friend. And, you know, I'm not going to name names. So, I went with my friend, and he had words with the guy. And so, he wasn't happy. He didn't want to deal with him. So, he went around the convention to other people, whatever. And I'm sitting at this guy's place because, like, I know he has gold, so I'm sitting there mining. Like, you know, I'm sitting, I, I pulled up a chair and I'm going through his shit, like, you know, religiously because I know he's got good stuff. You just have to go through it. So my friend came up around a few times. He's like, oh, you know, this guy sucks, yada, yada, yada. And I'm just ignoring him, you know. So long story short, after I bought the books from the guy, he's like, oh, I thought we were a team, you know. He, you know, I don't like this guy. He screwed me over. You, you were a team and you shouldn't buy from him either. But, like, he never once said that, like, blatantly. He just said, oh, blah, 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 blah. So, like, anyway, you know what? If you could find a $2 comic from somebody that's worth 50 bucks, and your friend's annoyed with the guy, would you, like, get up and go? Like, you can spin it a different way and say, hey, I, I banged the guy out for uh, a $50 comic, and I paid 2 bucks, so I screwed him, so you should be happy. So, let's kick it Let's kick it off. So, I got... I got uh, 16 books from this guy for $22. And I'll save the best for last. 
Actually, they're all pretty good. So, I got Teen Titans. This is the real first appearance of uh, Captain Carrot, you know, the cameo. I've, I've seen it in a few other videos. Got Supergirl, uh, number one. It's like a $5, $10 book, you know, whatever, you know. If you, it's in the mix, you know, you want it. Got Amazing Spider-Man, uh, 253. First appearance of the Rose. You know what? You never know. Like, if, it picks, if this picks up, Kingpin becomes a major player. Who's the next in line? His son. Got Hercules Unbound, number one. Let, yet again, you know, I got I got these 16 books for like $22, so it's like a dollar, 10 cents a book, I guess. Like you guys say, man, any uh, Joker cover is golden. So this is a really good copy. Brave and the Bull, Batman the Joker, boom, killing the Penguin. Not, not a lot of significant. This book, I know a lot of you guys, Lightning, I'm shouting you out. You love your first appearances, and you love your DC. And I've never seen this. Maybe I missed you guys' videos, but like... Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes, number 253. And, you know, the man, the myth, the legend, Jerry Conway, who is uh, my best friend's father-in-law, he created all these guys. So that was even, like, more reason to get this book. But, you know, first appearance of all these cats, first appearance of the League of Super Assassins. This is just chock full of first appearances. They're minor and they're stupid. But, you know, if you're into that stuff, like I am, and I know a lot of you guys are, this is a primo book. And the guy who wrote, who created them all, is uh, a guy I can get an autograph from any day of the week. Hey, how about that? Anyway, moving on. We got uh, Batman number 332. It's beat up. You know, it's a little, you know, knocked out, blah, blah. But, you know, for, this is the first solo Catwoman appearance. So I'm like, hey, you know, how about that for a dollar about? We got a uh, Firestorm. Number three, this is the first um, Killer Frost. She's a cool character, you know. Like I was digging her in uh, not for maybe Forever Evil or uh, the other one in Justice Gods Among Us, but like she had a prominent role. Uh, yet again, another DC Comics presents Joker cover, beautiful comic, you know, for a dollar. Like how can you, it's got tons of ticks, but you know, just to have it and check it off and like you know come back to it and get a better copy. Better to have it and, not, and you know and have a bad copy than not having it like always be dying for one. Keeping with the theme, we got Brave and the Bold 130, a nice Joker cover, you know, Batman and uh, Green Arrow. Let me remind you guys, my friend was like alluding to bitching and moaning to not like pick up books from this guy, but like he gives such a good deal. How could you? And B, he didn't actually say to me, like, directly, hey, don't shop from this guy. Like, you know, kind of like a girlfriend bitching to you, alluding to shit. Just say what you mean, and that's hey. it. Oh, sorry, uh, my girlfriend's right there. Not Bondage. you, Jenny. Not you, Jenny. Bondage. Oh, look, ding, 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 bondage alert. Speaking of girlfriends, bondage alert. Wonder Woman, look at that. Oh, yeah, Jenny, yeah, now you shut up. Yeah. Look at that bondage alert. It's beat up, but you know what? All in for a dollar beautiful cover and then oh man I upgrade I'm so happy about this first Captain Britain and first appearance of arcade beautiful copy and I got this for a dollar I'm so psyched because this is one of the books like certain books I really want and I had a beat up copy but this one I have uh, last but oh look at this a Captain video to the space and beyond honeymooners number one not worth nothing but you know I'm a ham from back in the day like you know, Alice to the Moon, Captain Video, Norton, Norton. And, okay, oh, you know what? So, I saved the best for last. Um, actually, you know, second best. This is also one I got there. You know, Wolverine Weapon X. But, this is the really the book that I got. Hey, and Jack hot. Stop cutting me off, you're ruining Sorry, my, uh... Sorry, Cam's You're ruining my train of thought, Jenny. That's I got, last thought. You Jack is hot. Jenny, I don't want to beat you on, like, camera, yeah? Don't beat Anyway, me. guys... So, the last book I got, which is included in the haul, 22 bucks for 15 comics, and the guy actually saw it, and he knew what it was, and he still gave it to me, because that's the type of guy he was. You know, I admire and I respect that. He knew what it was, and he goes, you know what? It slipped by me. I'll take it like a champ. Boom. Mint copy. First Phantom X. Oh, shit. Fix that. First Phantom X. Mint copy. Like, you can't pull, pull. That's all right. First Phantom X, mint copy. You can't beat that. Yeah, you see, guys, you know, it's straight, not edited. Thank you, Jenny, for the assist. You like Vanna White. Love. Uh, 
this is a fifty dollar book, you know, any way you slice it. But like he gave it to me and I admire and respect that. So whatever my friend was mad about this guy, he did the right thing. So, you know, screw that shit. Uh, last but not least, I'm gonna round it out. I've wanted this book for so long and uh Afterlife with Charlie. Afterlife with Archie, sorry about that. He wanted twenty bucks, he was half off, so I got it for eight dollars. You know, if you get this book on eBay, it's going to be like $10, $12 plus shipping. So I'm like, oh, you know what? Boom. I want this book. $8 all in. Mint condition. I got it. I didn't get his death, but like, it's so overhyped and this and that. Like, you know. Uh, I just wanted to show, uh, last but not least, this is a little random. I have this. Uh, I don't know if you guys just remember. You know, after Wizard, it was Hero. That was another, like, comic. That was another, like, price guy. So I got Hero number one. It's pretty cool, pretty cool something to look at. And I got hero number, uh, wizard number 22 with the Deadpool Sabretooth and I got uh, wizard 1992, first, first series. But other than that, you know, it's Jimmy C. I haven't th talked to you guys in a while. I hope my uh, video was pretty digestible. Like, I've been drinking and you know, I got stuff going on, but anyway, God bless you guys, and yo, Kenneth Brown, man, that guy's awesome, and I just did his uh, contest video. I'm happy I knew about him from before, but anyway, God bless, good night, and you know, that's it. Keep on keeping on.